What's up everyone? My name is Colin Sonyemobi. In this section, through this video, I would be walking you through how to build and monitor your fast API microservice with Docker, Prometheus, and Grafana. This software combo is a match made in software heavens. Uh, before we proceed, just a bit about myself. I'm an independent electoral technology consultant and an open source evangelist. Over the past 10 12 years, I've deployed and developed several technology solutions, both for local and international organizations. I have also public sector experience in implementing technology solutions for the Nigerian state government and MDAs. A summary of what we'll be working through this section includes how to build a simple board endpoint that consumes an external API. And we'll use this and we'll deploy this using uh, Fast API, which is a modern high performance Python web framework that is perfect for building RESTful APIs based, based on Python standard hints. We will also be able to view interactive API documentation powered by Swagger UI. We shall use Docker to spin up containers for Fast API, Prometheus, and Grafana. And lastly, we'll deploy Grafana and Prometheus both for continuous data visualization, both to help us monitor and visualize complex data in a simplified manner. The tech stack required for this presentation includes FastAPI, Docker, Python, Prometheus, and Grafana. Now the overall objective is to have a minimal setup on how to build and monitor your FastAPI microservice with Docker Prometheus and Grafana. Now let's delve in uh, by starting with the Fast API. The Fast API, like I earlier mentioned, is a more than high performance Python web framework uh, that is perfect for building RESTful APIs. Uh, but by default, uh, Fast API has synchronous and asynchronous requests inbuilt uh, with also data validation. JSON serialization, uh, authentication and authorization, as well as open API documentation. The highlights of Fast API, Fast API has surged in popularity since 2019, since it supports a sync out of the box. So it's a lightweight framework when compared with uh, every other Python uh, framework like Flask and Django. It takes advantage and support for data validation and open API Swagger documentation. It's built with async capability which supports development of asynchronous API. It is fast, uh, which makes it uh, comparable with Node and Go in terms of performance. And finally, it has its open API and JSON schema which support number of Swagger UI for testing and then Redux. It has amazing auto, auto, automatic documentation and then security and authentication with HTTP, basic, OAuth, and passing the keys. This is a sample code of Fast API. And Fast API, by default, does not have inbuilt development server. So ASCII server like UVCon or Dolphin is required. And this sample code just tells us how we import UVCon from Fast API, and then we'll instantiate our app uh, with Fast API uh, library, and then we specify uh, at endpoints. Uh, in this case, we'll have the Hello World endpoint, and then the UV call runs this under development environment. Again, we're moving to data monitoring and visualization. And when it comes to data monitoring and visualization, which is a crucial part of every application you build, you want to monitor your application based on user's request, how the system is performing uh, over time, what are the memory consumptions, what are the number of uh, uh, requests per second, per millisecond, and which of the requests are more to the others, and as well as identifying bugs, or you might probably want to scale some of these devices. And to do this data monitor visualization, that is why we chose the Grafana and Prometheus. These are both 
to help us monitor and visualize complex data in a simplified manner. Understanding metrics, how does uh, both uh, um, open source tools help us to actually uh, collect or scrape data from the system? It does that through metrics. And basically, metrics are numeric measurements and time series data that are being recorded over time. So as, as a developer, you may want to uh, monitor your applications to understand the number of requests uh, per second, per time, to also be able to understand what are the active connections, uh, the CPU load, the memory consumptions, and etc. cetera. There are several other things uh, that the metrics that you may want to script would provide you with. Now, this uh, uh, a quote from Tim Hedred, uh, who works with Red Hat as of May 20th, which says that Prometheus and Grafana is a software combo that is gaining traction because they are simple to use and effective complementary services that together provide robust time series database with excellent data visualization. So if these tools as a combo comes in as an open source, why not let's take advantage of it? Okay, let's further explain the Prometheus uh, um, um, uh, architecture. So what does it do exactly? Like I said earlier, this is an open source system for monitoring and alert toolkits. You know, it collects data as metrics with the timestamps, as I earlier mentioned, alongside the key value pairs for each of the data that is being collected. And the key, key features of Prometheus includes it provides time series data. It has a flexible query language, which is why we're able to connect to it, query it in real time. It also has multi-dimensional data model, which makes it interesting for you to scrape data based on the data model that is of interest. It also has uh, no reliance on distributed storage. So single server nodes are autonomous. A bit of uh, explanation on Prometheus architecture. Prometheus by default, uh, when deployed on the Prometheus server, uh, pool, uh, uh, collects data or scrapes data through pool metrics. So for using pr Prometheus targets, all data are being pulled using metrics, except for short-lived jobs that push metrics at exit. So that is done through push gateway of the Prometheus system. And then there is an alert manager uh, which then sends email notifications and etc. And lastly, uh, um, there, are, there are visualizations which in this context will focus on Grafana, which pulls data from the Prometheus, the, uh, from the Prometheus server uh, as, as, as matrices are being scraped from the system. Moving on, so we'll talk about Grafana. And Grafana also works with Prometheus. While Prometheus collects and stores the query data, Grafana visualizes it. You know, Grafana, Grafana as a third party app, you know, has the capability to include Prometheus as a data source, as well as other data sources. You, you can have a whole lot of visualizations with possible graphs and charts and histograms tables. We'll see that as we progress through this section. Why Prometheus aggregates all metrics collected at timestamp into a single graph? Grafana allows you to present the metrics collected as you wish. The key features of Grafana includes easy visualization, a large system, unified data from different data sources, and lastly, it allows you to share data, uh, uh, dashboards uh, of, of a particular application with your team. A bit of um, uh, explanation using data source from tech and beyond on YouTube. Uh, you have uh, a data producer like Jenkins, uh, CI server, Kubernetes, Raspberry Pi, visual, visual machines. This could be data in and out of data sources as defined through your Grafana environment. But in our case, we're focusing on Prometheus, which will pull data from. And then um, every queries, Grafana queries are done to the data source 
and then present in a visualization dashboard. And uh, that brings us to uh, the dashboard that has been designed uh, based on this section. So we we'll understand all that is required for us to be able to see uh, these software combos when uh, they are matched together. From this display, you see that the total request per minute is being monitored. Average response time for the system and per request is there. You have the request under 100 milliseconds. Errors per second, what are the error rates? You'll see request durations, request duration for the press 50, and the memory usage, CP usage, and request per minute. So all of these are things you can monitor and a lot more. Okay, so let's see the sample codes that glue uh, all of the tech stacks together. But then before I proceed, I want to say thank you, a big thank you to my team, uh, Amira Agoro and uh, Obioma Godfield for helping me to put together the um, Grafana and then the Prometheus uh, presentations. And We'll then proceed to now going through the codes and looking at the screen, you will notice that uh, this is the main.py file which specifies uh, the different classes imported from uh, our fast API and uh, the packages that we've installed. Um, we would also uh, proceed to declaring a variable, uh, the, the, the app variable which uh, is an instance of the fast api class and then we specify the url of our board game that upon request it will automatically tell us uh, what activity we need to carry it out and looking at that also we are defining uh, the first endpoint which is a get endpoint uh, by specifying the path board and uh, also making it as synchronous uh, by default such that uh, once uh, the board endpoint is called, it requests get the URL and then returns the random uh, board activity, uh, an activity that we need to carry out to ease our boredness. And then the second endpoint here is on the root path. Once uh, the, the, the path is called, uh, a message is just uh, then displayed. And then further down, you see that we've added this middle words to be able to integrate our Grafana and um, our Prometheus through Instrumenta and uh, all of the configurations are then specified there on. Now we'll go further by also uh, looking at our Docker file. From our Docker file, we've specified the image uh, of our Python and then the work directory, which is our app as defined, and then we'll copy all of those files to the uh, app directory of our Docker image, and then we run uh, the requirement.txt file. And finally, uh, um, the UVCon uh, that runs our app based on this configuration. We also proceed to our Docker Compose YML, where we have the multiple containers that we've defined here. And then we've also indicated that uh, there are different containers from our app containers, which you need to focus on to uh, the ports addresses that you can see here. First is the app uh, specified here. And then we have uh, our first API app is listening at port 8000. 8, and then we're specifying this IP address for it. And again, the Prometheus uh, container with listings which pulls image from the latest Prometheus uh, image, a uh, Docker image, and then is listed at port 1990. And we'll have our Prometheus.yml file, which is which we've specified our configuration, and that I will show in the next uh, screen. And the, lastly, we'll have the Grafana container, which pulls image from the Grafana latest uh, image file, and then the listings, it depends on Prometheus, and the listings as port 3000. We've also specify our Grafana uh, dashboard configuration, uh, uh, data source configuration, uh, as was mentioned earlier, 
that Grafana could listen to any type of data sources. But this configuration file, which I will show on the next slide, would have a Prometheus integration. And then the configuration monitoring, which will specify our authentication credentials for this app. And then uh, finally, you have the network that ties all of these uh, containers together so that they can communicate seamlessly. Now, again, we talked about the Prometheus configuration. This is the YML Prometheus file where we've defined uh, that uh, the intervals that the data, the metrics will be scraped. Uh, and then the evaluation interval as well and what we are monitoring which is an app and the target of our, uh, our host which is up 9090 we will specify and then the jobs will also assign our Prometheus target to uh, uh, focus on which is the, the fast API app and then which listens at spot 80 8000 Again, we'll proceed with our data source.yml where we specified the configuration of our Prometheus and then, then the uh, port number that we want to list in and then the name of our Prometheus files and any other configuration as we deem fit. We then proceed with the requirements.txt file and this requirement.txt file specifies the libraries that need to be imported for our fast API applications to run uh, without uh, bugs or errors, and this uh, also specified in the requirement file. And having done all of that uh, configurations and programming, uh, lastly, you then need to access the board game using the board URL. Once this is called, for instance, uh, there's an activity here which our board game has suggested for us, which means make a catch fault. And the type of this activity is recreational activity. It tells us the number of participants, which is one, the price, there's no price to it, and then the link and the accessibility for uh, this. When every time that this board endpoint is being called, it's going to give us a, a, a random activity to carry out to us to ease our boredness. Again, we talked about the features of Fast API, which give us open API. And then uh, it has uh, um, um, Swagger UI implementation. So this, by default, will have uh, the documentation, which we can then uh, be able to test our endpoints and see, and also understand the metrics that we'll have for our applications being developed. Now, we'll also be able to assess our, our dashboard again using the port that we've configured, recall, recall that we specified for 3000. So assessing this for 3000 automatically gives us the Grafana dashboard, which then displays our board gain, as you can see here, the matrices, all the services, and as requests keep coming, the CPU load, the memory usage, the errors per second, total requests per minute, requests under 100 milliseconds, and the request durations. So these are the final end products of all this presentation, all that we've been able to tie together and all that we have explained uh, for the past few minutes. So we, you can always uh, talk to me through the email address uh, that you have here. I want to uh, thank you all for listening at this section and I wish you a happy uh, Dev First Abuja 2021. Thank you.